Hey everyone, this is Nathaniel Ruffle Jantz from ZeldaInformer.com and it is about four days since Majora's Mask launched and I finally got all of my stuff in the mail that was ordered a while ago. So, I got my limited edition of the with the Skull Kit, I got my limited edition console and the special edition of the guide. So I'm going to unbox all this for you guys. Now, I have been playing Majora's Mask since last Friday, so I do already have the game, but that's okay. Ugh. Trying not to ruin this box. Alright. Alrighty. So you got your standard, standard stuff that comes with the 3DS, you know, the AR cards that I don't use anymore, but they're still pretty neat. And there is the console itself. Now, for some reason, it doesn't have any sticky wrap on it. Um, that actually surprises me. Okay, and we'll take out the protector. So that's what the inside looks like. I know you guys have seen some of this stuff online. And then that's at the back and the top. So I'll give you a quick zoom in on it here. It's the front the back. Pretty interesting. I like the design on it. Um, I also have the Monster Hunter one, so we'll, we can kind of put those side by side so you can kind of see. This is what I've been playing the Majora's Mask 3D on. And in the back. So, pretty cool. Ugh, we'll get to our next thing. We'll open the thing I'm most excited about. Oh. Um, honey, you want to grab me a knife? Sorry, I should have had a knife next to me here because I should have known this would be sealed. Scissors, I guess, will work. Ooh. This isn't working well for the box. But. Oh, well, right? It's already open. The collector's value is ruined, right? It's ruined. Alright, so, first the big ticket item. Remember, this only costs $10 more than just the game on its own. So this little statue here is only 10 bucks. You can see, it's the front, it's the back, you get the two sides on this one. Pretty cool, the coloring is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. And then, just so you know, it does come with a copy of the game. As I said, this is the collector's edition. Um, I already had a copy of the game, as I said I was playing it on Friday, but, so I got a sealed copy of the game, probably keep that for collectors, because you, as you guys know, sealed copies of games, years later, are worth quite a bit of money at times. Obviously I don't care about having this sealed, I might switch my 3DSs and use it as my main one, but my son's over here grabbing stuff. Alright, and then we'll take a quick look at this guide, I'm not going to show you too much on the inside of it, because... You know, you should really buy these guys for yourself if you're really interested in what's what's on the inside here. But we're going to open it up. Now, it does come with a free... Um, it, it says it comes includes... Here, I'll show you. It says includes a free mobile guide, um, the e-guide, and a character cling. So uh, let's see what those character clings are. I bet you they're things that you put on the wall. But let's just take a look here. Yep, okay, so... So this is for the free e-guide. I'm not going to show you the back because it has my e-guide number on it. Um, but that's the thing that has my e-guide stuff. And here's your character clings. These might be for the window instead. Um, but give you a good look at those. Remember, this comes with the Collector's Limited Edition hardcover guide only. It doesn't come with the normal, the normal guide. Sorry about that. My son's coughing in the background. He's a little sick just like me. And then this is the, the, the front cover. It's got a... It's, this is embezzled on here, by the way, so it's not just like a sticker. Um, it's on there. It's pretty good quality on the front. The back they didn't do anything special. The side obviously just has the normal gold collector's edition, um, and then obviously you got the gold binding, or the, sorry, the gold paper here on the edges. And obviously this is brand new, so I'm trying not to ruin it too much. But uh, and obviously it's a full color guide. Um, you know, obviously it's completely updated for the new game. Um, some good stuff, some good maps in there. We need some maps for our guides, so some good reference points. 
Um, so overall, pretty sweet stuff. Um, so let me, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab my camera and I'm going to line all this stuff up for you so you can get a really, really good look. So stick with me here. So do a quick pan over. This is my Monster Hunter one. Like I said, this one arrived on Friday. So that's what I've been playing this copy of Majora's Master D on. Um, and obviously this one came with this guy over here. Just give you a nice new look at him. Pretty cool. Then we got the Majora's Mask system. And I was really panicking over this system, so a big shout out to my girlfriend who helped me cover the cost for it at the last moment since my money went towards this one because GameStop told me I was not going to be able to get this one. And I still pulled it off and got it from GameStop, so pretty cool. And I got the guide back here, and then I got the box over there, so let me just give you a quick pan over here. So there you go. Um, and I also have Codename Steam on pre-order to get the uh, the Majora's Mask pin that comes with that game. But that doesn't come out for a month. So there you guys go. Majora's Mask 3D. All the collector stuff that was released in the United States. What do you guys think? Are you happy? Do you like it? Are you enjoying the game? Do you wish we got the European collector stuff? I know I did. Because, man, that, that steel case... Lovely. All right. I will catch you guys later on my next episode of The Boss Man.